hate it. Thanks, I hate it. They remind me of the children I lost. I mean, it was purposely in the woods, but oh. still. <laughs> Goes them down, call me the chimney. Santa's coming down my chute. Oh. I'll leave behind a little bit of golf for every child. <laughs> it's just a tiny piece of my earlobe. Oh, yes. Flesh for the young ones. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep them healthy and savvy. If they eat the meat, they get a treat. <laughs> Which is more meat. More meat. <laughs> more lobe for the children. This sounds slightly wrong. <laughs> we should stop. Kitties. Kitties. Santa coming down my chute. Let me tell you, when they said let it snow, it's not what you think they were doing. Do, 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 meaning, meaning, doing. He's coming in my butthole. They said it would be snow, but it's more like slashing. Honey, that's why I call a slush puppy. Rabbit looks like a dog, wolf, wolf. They are. The wolves are an old guild's door. <laughs> call me a furry, because I'm going wolf, wolf. Wolf. Wolf! Bah! <laughs> so this will be the last no. episode of Don't Drag Us. E-I-E-I-O, <laughs> <laughs> e -E no! E Let's do it, baby. Let's get into One this. last time, except it's not, because no, there's many more to go. <laughs> no. ha, ha. Hi! Hi! I'm the Sheila B. Right! And I'm the Pushly Death! And the welcome to... Reacts to RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs. the World Season 2 Episode 8 The Lip Sync Love of the Ruse Smackdown for the crown for your name Extravaganza for the teeth crown The teeth? Block your teeth Chomp the chompy Time to leave the teeth for the fairy Get your gold coins Put them in the drag queens and wind them up. I one dollar for an hour. I have one question. Do I get a dollar if I give it someone else's teeth? <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. What happened the last week? Last episode, we had the roast. That's right. The it was spit the, roast. It was and we the... had a tea and coffee in the Grand Dame pummeling Little Marina in the middle of the stage. I must have missed that part. <laughs> yeah, look, it wasn't too eventful. You've um, seen the Grand Dame and Tia Coffee try to move their limbs. It was like the wedding roast thing, which I thought uh -huh. was a different a different flip on it. Some of the mainstay challenges tend to get a little additional theme spice mm. on top of them as the seasons go on, because they're like, we need to keep it fresh. They had the wedding bowl back in All Stars 5. That's true, they did, yeah. yeah Something like that. Bring back some sort of wedding or funeral. It's always an event. Living out some big grand yeah. moment of their life. Like or death. death. <laughs> <laughs> like Lady Bunny's death. Except the sad part was she wasn't actually dead. So... <laughs> Our top two our was top two. Hannah Conda and Tia Coffee. Tia had the better roast. Agreed, but Hannah won the lip sync. Yes, agreed. And she got that golden rope Peter bag. Mm. Rope Peter. <laughs> she got that golden rope McMahon live rope badge. Put around her neck. And the bitch sent Scarlet home. She did. For and the second time she voted that bitch out. I know. Her words. And this time she got it done. See, if you do the job right the second time, you don't have to do it right the first or something. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Summing, summing, <laughs> all stars, Jinx Monsoon. Legendary legend star. Now, now, now. Okay, yeah, this is it. the finale. Finale! Yeah, true. This is big news, guys. Real big news. Big news. Round up, round up. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Someone just won probably three or four days ago by the time we released this. Yeah. Maybe more. <laughs> so. it's, it's three or four days now while filming it. Yeah. <laughs> so probably more. <laughs> probably more. So, Definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, obviously you all know the big news already, but if you don't and you're here for the first time, you're watching the episodes with us, then thank you so much for holding on and thank you so much for not getting the spoilers online despite everyone in the comment threads posting unnecessarily about everything. I'm looking at you. I was saying, our fan base is the worst. Oh. You guys are the worst. You're the worst, but we love you. <laughs> we do. We do, we love you. The worse you are, the better we love. You're the worst. Like a brat first. <laughs> They're the bratwurst. They're the worst and they're brats. Oh, and a sausage, right? <laughs> is bratwurst a sausage? Yeah, bratwurst is a sausage. Great. And a sausage. <laughs> and I like sausage mm. down my throat. Oh. I'm so excited. Team Arena, still, mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, 100%. And then literally any of the other three girls could take it. I, uh, this might be controversial. As much as Tia has won four 
challenges. She won four challenges. She's won four challenges. Two of them completely undeserved. In our eyes. Okay, subjective. So if Tia ends up winning... Just by her having the track record to back her up, Yeet. I'm gonna feel like, uh uh, that UK robbery, BBC stepping in. She's doing it again. I said at the start of the season, as long as the colour doesn't win. <laughs> and if Tia, I mean, Tia Coffee, I, I don't know where I was going with that, to be honest. <laughs> if one of the colours don't win. No. No. Well, no. <laughs> Yeah. If we get another like blue hydrangea situation where it's mm. like she's just the girl that's left, I'm gonna be like, you know what? Just cancel UK versus the world. Scrap it. As a community, we're gonna crown Marina uh -huh. and just ignore whoever the other winner is. If Marina doesn't make it, then put her on All Stars and let her take that crown. Let her Jimbo. Let her, let Jimbo. her Jimbo. Let her Jimbo. And, and her eventually Lee. Pangina as well. But I swear to God, if they get Marina and Pangina in the same season, double crowning. They double better. Crowning. They fucking. No better. other way to do it. They better. It better happen. Well. Yeah. Shall we? Let's jump into it! Mm, jumping. Now I will say, mm. I'm also down for Hannah winning because oh. Down Under Girl yes. has proved herself time and time again. She rocked up and she said, oh, an Australian drag queen that actually tries. <laughs> um, stop typing. Mayhem. Mayhem. Cool. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Charita. Charita went home? Scarlet. Oh my god. Scarlet? Scarlet was on this season? What? The ultimate. Lip sync smackdown for the crown. This is a lip sync. Out of the girls here, who Marina. can lip sync? Marina. <laughs> Marina. <laughs> it's literally yeah. Marina's yes. crown to lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. fucking terrifying. You kick your ass really easily. God, La Grand Dame was definitely the fashion bitch of the season. Oh, she she had all of the high concept looks. Uh -huh. She had all of the tailored Canada. presentations. Mm -hmm. Hannah. This is the queen of camp. A little bogan princess. Mm -hmm. She's like Kylie Minogue except much shorter and much wider. Wider or whiter? Both. <laughs> Hannah is an absolute icon. This she look. Is. That look, the treaty look. All of them. Amazing. If La Grande Dame was uniqueness, Hannah's charisma. 100%. Now, Marina, Marina talent. talent. Talente. And then Tia had the nerve to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes, she was. Drag was born to do you. And so am I. Marina, if you're available, <laughs> hit me up. Hi, guy. We can be lesbians. Tia Coffee. Tia. <laughs> Tia is very cam, just in a very different way than Hannah is. Yeah, again, I'm like, the campness I love from Tia in season two mm. got ironed out of her this season after RuPaul told her to be a supermodel. You're kind of more fun when you're bad. Yeah, <laughs> literally! I would have loved to have seen her on like an early out season or something yeah. like that. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Scarlet's just gone home. It's after the elimination. Thank gosh. Oh. Come on, wheelbarrow. Yeah, that was less of a wheelbarrow, more of like a pickup truck. <laughs> like the legs on that one. Like a cement mixer. <laughs> yeah. like oh. I'm gonna miss Scarlett. She's a wonderful sister. Mm -hmm. She was such a great top five competitor. And, but yeah. <laughs> she was a great yeah, fifth so place. And that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's no it. more, no less. She was a really great not top four. I'm so glad Hannah won her first lip sync. Me too! Oh. My girl. Girl got a badge. Finally girl got a badge. badge. <laughs> Better late than never. She's the last girl out of the four to get a badge. Mm -hmm. Which just means that she lasts this the longest. Is my, this is my Edging. <laughs> So <laughs> RuPaul really does love edging the bitches, don't yeah. they? This is your first final. Oh my god! Yeah! Wahoo! The little pearls on the corner of um Tia's mouth mm. look like herpes. Or like HPV. I, I, know, I don't that. I don't see anything different to what she normally wears. <laughs> that you are the best, you have to beat the best, and Scarlett had the worst track record. An easier decision than I thought it would be. Why did you think it would be difficult? She wasn't good. <laughs> Let's not sh** Scarlett too much. She actually outshone most of the rest of the competition. Oh, I will agree with you there. I'll agree with you there. I just like being a shady little bitch. <laughs> Where's the samba? Oh, 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 the couple mm, system together. That's right! Oh. Oh. I mean, there was only one other group. And they so, both went home. Yeah, these other four girls were the ones that eliminated them. So uh -huh. girls, it's not that much of a surprise. This is what happens when you do good. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> All aboard! 
for the ride of your life. Oh! oh I have a douche! First stop, Memory Lane. Oh. Tickets, please. Reunion. Reunion. Girls come back in the room. Reunion? Better be. Memory Lane. Maybe the Eliminated Queens are gonna come no. back. Yes! Oh See, my god. Tia and I are the same person. Yeah. So they actually look good in drag. Well, um... um <laughs> questionable. Well... I'll let the audience decide not, on that one. Yeah, I think the audience has. <laughs> um, Three of them, I said... Oh. <laughs> Girl, it's part oh. of the job. If you're salty about being sent home, you shouldn't have been in the bottom. I'm so scared that they're about to do... The All Stars 3 moment, where they have the girls' eliminated vote on the girls and make it the top two. No, they wouldn't dare. But if they did, you'll better still choose Marina. I don't think they've updated that image of RuPaul in about 12 years. It has been a hot... Wait! We are getting it. Oh yes! Our top four. We never get reunions on All Stars. Oh my god! This is gonna be spicy. Mayhem's gonna forget that she's there. Will Mayhem rock up? <laughs> she didn't do the competition. So yeah. much. We show up now. Stop typing. We're reuniting all of our queens. Well, <laughs> all of them. I love how she's laughing at herself as she said that. She's like, <laughs> they're not queens. Peasants at best. Oh, okay, oh. baby. Look at her! It's a redo of her glove look! Yes. Ah! Yes. This is beautiful! She looks John good. That's from oh, Sheen, right? Oh, uh, I think I own that one, yeah. It's one of the expensive ones. <laughs> oh, she looks good. Of course, of course. Mommy. Oh! Yes. That's from Sheen, right? Sharisa <laughs> May. Oh, oh, they all decided to wear black. Yeah, is the theme black? Apart from Jombas who were light blue. Yeah! So the rest of the girls got the theme. Jombas was not a part of the group They're gonna yet. disappear into the background. Oh. Scott's also wearing blue. Yeah. She looks good though. Snatch. Uh, uh, oh, she looks mad. Mm. Mayhem, you excited to get all caught up? Oh, I want all the tea. Let's get the drama going. Let's do it, mama. Let's do it. Scarlet. You huh? just missed out. Thanks for the reminder, Michelle. Wait, where's RuPaul? Busy. Tired? Dead. <laughs> All of the above. Anybody else fuming? John Bush? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I've some time to process. Okay. Mm -hmm. My juices aren't flowing. As hot as they were. Were they? What's <laughs> happened? I assumed I would get a little bit further until somebody put the stop on that. I think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say I think it was John Bush because she wasn't good. Yeah, she put uh, herself in the bottom. Yeah. But look, they're both wearing blue. It's just that Scarlet wore it better. Ah! So. <laughs> That's horrid <laughs> and true. <laughs> Wait, my opinion or the dress? <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this. Oh. Pretty in pink. Come on, pretty in pink. She looks like a splatter of gum <laughs> on the pavement. <laughs> oh, yes, honey. I love the earrings. You ought to know it. We ought to know it. I ought to know it. I ought to. I ought to. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of butt crack. Just a little bit of butt crack. And the way that that crystal was, like, taped to her back or something. Oh, of course. And here's Tia looking like... Tia. Uh, Honestly, out of all the blue outfits, probably my favorite. And I, I wouldn't have expected that from Tia. Is this the top four you were thinking you'd see? No, I called her. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Salty. As soon as I left, I was like, that's top four. Really? Well, thank you for the trust. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem, you said no. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mayhem's just here to stir shit up. Yeah, 100%. I did not see myself right here in this first seat. Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> Shall we discuss this past week's elimination? Yeah. Oh, oh, Alright. Oh, oh. I just want to know why. The three girls that were up for elimination, it was you that I felt had the weakest track record. It's crazy because the week before, track record meant nothing to you. Yeah, Ooh. and I took, I said that I would Ooh. take it by week. Everything Sorry. changes, you know. Yeah. Again, it's huh. nothing personal. It was clearly based on the performance. It was based on the performance? No. Oh. The, in the town. Through, through the show. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you need me to repeat myself? Because I will. Scarlett has no idea how to interact with an Australian. Mm. Your decision feels more personal. The decision had to be made and that was what I felt mm -hmm. right in the moment. Mm. It was, just wasn't clicking for me. It was and personal. That was personal. Yeah. But last week, 
was not. Okay. <laughs> so the week before was personal. <laughs> she looked at Scarlett and said, I don't click with you. Get the f out. Get rid of the strongest player. I'm, I'm the same way. Oh, maybe because we're American? But also because you were first out, so you would do everything in your path, mayhem, to protect yourself. Yeah, and unfortunately it's too late. <laughs> yeah, and not enough. Actually, it was the Grand Dame who made a, a great point saying, I want to compete against the best of the best, which I think is just as fair yeah. to think I that I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem's trying to make screen time. Oh yeah, I've missed out on seven episodes. Mm. I knew that this was like an international cast, but I was surprised that Spain was going to be here and that I was the chosen one. We have better. <laughs> <laughs> it's true! <laughs> But she's a party though. Yeah. She is fun. Arancha was arguably the weakest on her season. So that's the craziest thing. She's just like the Spanish tea of coffee. We were all like looking out for each other, but I don't think it was like an alliance in like... Like not intentional? Oh. Yeah. And we're already familiar with each other because yeah. we live here, we've worked together. Yeah, some of the girls work. Mm. Gothi, um... Gothi looks great on Instagram. Yes, <laughs> stays at home and stares into a ring light. A ring light, and by that I mean she puts her ring into a ring light. Were you surprised when they asked you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got the call was like, ah, oh, yes. And then you turned up and you were like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do this again? Yeah. I'm the veteran here. She has not been able to show the world what she has to offer. I'm glad that you guys made that decision because I know you have my lipstick too, bitch. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy that she got a chance to really show out and show off. Aww, you're mm. sweet. That's really what she was. The first <laughs> absolutely fume. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever something happens, I see absolute blinding red. <laughs> red. Oh. It takes me a few days to take the time to process and to be asked back. I do want to take a moment to acknowledge your heightened level of fashion this season and the effort that you put in. Thank you. And it's heightened. For me ah, to fashion. Be heightened like a rolling so, hill. <laughs> um, what? They're not that high. Oh. Just when you think you've made it to the top, you're rolling over on the other side again. <laughs> so... I've forgotten what happened that episode. Oh, did you? Oh, all right. Did you have my lipstick? I did have your lipstick. Yeah. I can forgive you now. What? I can forgive you now. But I can't forgive you for that f***ing wig and those white boots that you were wearing. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, how did you do so badly in a fucking acting challenge after that? <laughs> I apologize for it to an extent, but that's what we To an extent. There was a bit of strategy in it because I felt like everyone kept going on about the fact that UK queens still had four. We had a mm. She mentioned this in the episode. I know, I, I knew I was preferred pixie. <laughs> well, that's saying something. And that is saying something. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, she just shaded Pixie too! Maybe I've been a little bit wary of whether or not we would get along. Tia used to date season four contestant Pixie Polite. But you jobbers don't get along with Pixie. Yeah, well, I thought we did. Pixie's not here to speak for herself. Pixie f <laughs> Tia and then Tia f <laughs> jumpers, and that's the end of the story. Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, over. We love Australia up Australian. Australians will say, this is the facts, thank you very much. Were you nervous? Well, didn't it look like that? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell? Everyone in the room just nodding mm, yeah, aggressively. Yeah. <laughs> I've met like some amazing girls, mm. you know, that's... So. that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jumbas was also in the room. <laughs> your looks were amazing. It's just, mm. you know, look around. When you get inside your head, it is your biggest enemy. Yeah, and I just want to ask Tia, why well? did you chose my lipstick? My decision to save Gothi was nothing to do with Gothi being from the UK. Just this feeling that was willing Gothi to push through and succeed. Tia means stroke in Dutch. <laughs> Wish you had one when you chose my lipstick. <laughs> Breathe, breathe them. Marina, hello. This is your first trip. Oh sorry. my god, sorry. I think I just saw God. I thought it was a wild animal. Oh, we're on two different wavelengths. Yeah. <laughs> the moment I walked in here, it felt like I belonged here. You belong on every stage in the world, yeah. Marina. Especially the milk crates at the local pub. <laughs> and the pole in my bedroom. Yeah. I changed. I don't want to send Scarlet home anymore. I want to choose Marina. <laughs> Retractive skulls ready to go. We may not speak the same dialect or language, but we speak the same language of drag. We do speak the language of drag. On a drag show called Drag Race, we'll mm. drag queens. That we all do drag. 
Except Michelle. <laughs> she does drag. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's got more drag on than Jomba's does. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Being the only Down Under queen, did you feel like you had a lot to prove? Um, I wanted to do this for the Down Under franchise, because we mm. do get a hard rap. Um, why? Why? I don't <laughs> know. Drag Down Under is kind of an amalgamation of what I see American drag and British drag yes. in the middle. No offence to our Americans, but not always about what the Americans think about You're world drag. You're correct. Drag. Australasian like... drag oh. is different to American drag. Very, mm. very correct. Mm. Thank you. We've got some really great things happening Down Under. Mm -hmm. and it's their Hi! Yes, we're here. Hello. <laughs> I absolutely Doing our best. Doing our best. This is Aussie drag. You can turn back now. <laughs> this is the challenge that scared me the most. I'm having a good time. I'm making a dress. I'm sorry. I'm going to say something right now. What? That eyeliner goes like. Gdunk. <laughs> the eyebrow, too. No, no. <laughs> Stop typing. La Grande Dame. Monsieur. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah! I know that the voice is deep, but how deep does the oh, go? <laughs> to showcase myself, to humor. That's something I didn't even do on my season. That's what fits me. That's what pays mm. rent. But... Her makeup. Mm. Oh. The way you see things. Where do you think you get the ideas from? I did spend a lot of time alone. I left home when I was 14. Oh. I what always got me out of those dark places was creating. It would be drawing, it would be sculpting. Mm. She can do it all. Oh. She is that bitch. She's just like an artistic enigma. Anomaly. Enigmatic person. Big word. Insert big word here. Atrophy. <laughs> Which I think is when you don't feel something. Atrophy is when you can't move. Ah, when something Artistic seizes. atrophy. That's what yeah. we have. <laughs> That's why we're reacting. Yeah. We've been sitting on this couch for the last three months. I won't let us leave. <laughs> In my season, I also felt like an outsider. I was the only queen from a different country. So I connected with all of them so much. From the get-go, make sure that everyone felt at home. I mm. think Charitz is going to be our Miss Congeniality. She is... Beautiful uh -huh. and lovely and kind and mm -hmm. funny and there for a good time, which I know a lot of these girls could learn from. Yeah, <laughs> specifically John Burs. <laughs> congeniality. We oh, it's congeniality. Oh, oh, oh. And the winner is sausage. Sausage. I'm Honestly, fine with that too. Absolutely that. fine with that. That's her second Miss Congeniality. Did she win the first one as well? I think it was her season. No, I might have been Poopy Poison. Never oh, mind. Okay. I'll take Come it back. Never mind. It oh. should have been a rancher. I'm sorry, this man's like a little mullet thing that's going on. Mm. Man with hair? Tell wow. me about it. Also, uh, man with hair? <laughs> Tell me about it. I don't care when about the 50 pounds or going home sick, and I care that I'm going home with 10 sisters. Aww. Aww. You're such a liar. That's so congenial. I love you all. You <laughs> dirty liar. <laughs> <laughs> Eres una persona maravillosa. <laughs> Thank you, queens. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes. Good job, you were mildly entertaining for half an hour. No, no, Michelle said to clap for ourselves. Oh. Good job, we were mildly entertaining for half an hour. <laughs> My mother used to say, don't f*** it up. Ah. Yes. Wow, RuPaul, is that a hold? <laughs> I'm excited! I'm excited to see how these girls look mm. on stage. In their finale eleganza, extravaganza, Mama. work oh. for your own way. Ooh, RuPaul! Mm. Welcome to the grand finale. Come on, citrusy. Gorgeous. You know what this is giving me? What? Monet exchange in the oh. second bowl of All Stars. Yeah. She's got given the green, she made the pantsuit mm -hmm. with the red wig. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. You know Zoldi saw that and was like, Yes, ma'am. It's giving, it's giving like Greek Pantheon, mm. Pantheon, Pantheon. Pantheon, Pantheon. <laughs> Ru, I don't get Q, I get drop dead sickening. Boots the house down. Oh. Alan Carr is us, and we, we are Alan Carr. I am a man in my in their forties. 
Fifties. Sixties? <laughs> I don't know. E L L E N. Ellen, Ellen Carr. Carr. Or like Ellen Key would be really good. Ellen right? Key. Finale, eleganza extravaganza. All right. Oh. Racers, start your engines, and may the best drag queen win. Marina. You yes. better let Marina win. You said the best drag queen. Okay, come on now. Bring me some queen. Take it away, girls. Take it away, honey. Oh! oh. And she's got her bloop contacts in. I'm bloop. not gonna lie, this is kind of giving storm. It, oh. This oh. X-Men, right? X-Men, yes. Does she dress like this ever? Mm, in the comics she does. Oh, she is stunning. That is incredible. Wakanda forever. That, that right there that is, is incredible. She looks like a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> She's a very lovely lamp <laughs> machine. <laughs> Vintage lamp. Oh, I want to hang out of the corner of my room, make a stand there. <laughs> Shed light on the situation. This Me, I'm a situation. From Spain. Oh, okay. Oh, this is fun. This is cute. I like this. Oh, this is fun. Job, this is fun. Fuzz. I hate the cage hip bustle. Oh, I need it. Too many girls do the cage hip bustle. I'm like, you're trying to make a point, you don't know what point you're making. But it's still cute. Good. I yeah. still really, really I like the colors. The tartan's cute. The wig is fun. Purple and cyan together. I can always stick around. Is there cyan on that? And the front strips of her leg oh, pattern things. Oh, come on. Come on. Zombies. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's like a Harley Quinn, oh, but like God. ugly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. The 101 Dalmatians, where they got run over by a pickup truck. What's black, white, and red all over? A bad drag queen. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually think I actually think this is really cute. I really like the wig. The wig, the wig is, is incredible. incredible. The silhouette of like these big ass shoulders and puffy sleeves. Oh. 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 Left in that fish. <laughs> oh, she's serving bony fish, honey. Honey, fish bones. honey. Gorgeous. Oh my god, I have missed this bitch's runway. I know. I, I want her to make them. at least one more episode. Oh. From the UK, it's Gothy Kendall. It's like the last look, but disappointing. Um, <laughs> it's like the last look, but interpreted by Jumba's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not seen Jombas come out in this in a mint green color? Did we not just see this? Wait, it literally has mint green in it. It does. This is not Jombas outfit. Look, I will say, it's cute. I will say, it looks better on her. Representing the UK. Sausage! She's well read. Oh, honey. She looks like one of the Spice Girls with that wig. It's very 90s, that, that hair. It's a, it's Oh, She's a big ass These cupcake. Dresses. I wish there was more dimension on this. Some of the layers of the tool was like a deeper red, so you had like shades going through. Yeah. You could just see the volume on the dynamic. I don't think it needed the fluffy up here. Uh, I think it needed sleek and then fluffy. She needs to warm Got up. It. Love the wig. Love the wig. Love the wig. Hope you win. Love oh, wait. <laughs> Love oh, oh, actually, now I'm seeing it move. This is beautiful. I don't like all the mismatched yeah. jewelry. Why does she have rings hanging great. from her ears, the but then a pearl so necklace, my, but then I'm a pearl tip, but then like a ring watch, but then like... I think the accessorizing didn't mm. need to accessorize the way it's doing. I don't even care. She looks good. All right. Oh, go. top four. Top four. <laughs> Made for more. Top four. Oh, camp. <laughs> Beautiful, the silhouette is gorgeous. The silhouette is beautiful. I love the mermaid tail. Mm. This fabric is so fugly. <laughs> it's the fuggliest thing I've ever seen. And it's so Australian and I love it endlessly. I kind of wish the shoulder thing was made out of the same fabric but like inverted colors. Oh, that would be fun. Just How to keep the story because the satin doesn't make sense to me. But I love it still. Yep. Oh, look, oh. <laughs> body roll. Oh, Welcome honey. to my body rolls. Welcome to my body rolls. Hi, kick, hi. Hi, kick. This is how we do it. Watch out for my body rolls. Watch out for my body rolls. Okay, this is cute. I have oh. my eye on 50 oh, wow. I don't know what I'm looking at. A metallic frond. It kind of looks like one of those like metallic like slinky things. Mm, the scour. She looks like a scour. <laughs> uh, a scour made love to like a lionfish. I love it. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh honey. The black velvet glove mm. all the way down. Get ready to get wet. 
Oh my the god. The headpiece, the coral headpiece. Mm -hmm. My only, only issue is that the blue itself. It's like a tackier yeah. shade of it blue. It seems really out of place for me. I almost wish it was like a navy blue or something a little bit deeper. I, I wish it kind of went black to navy down to like light blue at the bottom. It's a hot oh. Tia, she's giving you swirly arms and ostrich feathers. It is a dress made of fabric upon her body. And that wig has also been stored in a box for six months. You're meant to lay the astroturf out on the deck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't like this. This shape, diagonal line. It should be lower so that you get more of her body and then there's the bubble from the yes, bottom. Yes, I agree. And I don't like the trimming of the, the deeper green on the yeah. corset. No, this is probably my least favorite. Yeah. Love you, Tia. Love you endlessly. Mm. No. No. It's time for the judge's final critiques. Let's go. Panaconda, how much fun it has been. She looks so good. Always just down everything. To I love her. I think she was the perfect pick for this season. <laughs> <laughs> I just shit myself. <laughs> wow, you can find the funny. Dana is so inaudible that I've had more intense conversations with farts from my own <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Crass. When I first saw you in the variety show, it was so funny. Reveal. Oh, sh <laughs> Wrong dress. <laughs> <laughs> she was just good from day one. Yeah. Let's be real here. Mm -hmm. You really are the full package. I've just enjoyed watching you so much. Imagine if Hannah won. Imagine if Hannah I would won. honestly be so down for that. Do you know what? I what? would probably cry. <laughs> Just to see Aussie drag <laughs> being put on that sort of pedestal. I would lose my and shit. And that we actually deserve to exist in the universe of drag race. And that we're not just fake actors from South America, part of some conspiracy theory. I found drag to be a therapy for me. Therapy's expensive, so I get that. And live So is drag, so I don't get it anymore. <laughs> Except if you get it from Kmart. Give drag a go if you get the chance. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Up next, from France. I love how there was just this pure instinction <laughs> to scream it. You mean instinct? <laughs> that one. I wish I was extinct. Um. Your looks literally go from the sublime to the ridiculous. An icon. Never seen anyone piss themselves on the runway. Oh, I love that look. That meeting of haute couture and eccentricity. The knitted mm. condom. One of my favorite moments on the runway oh. of all time. I <laughs> is absolutely stunning. Uh, but dazzling. Girls who are as beautiful as you are would just rest on that. No, not look around dumb. No, mm. no, 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 no. And rest I do. <laughs> I just can't help myself but see the positive. How proud I am to be here. I've lived through very tough stuff. And yes, I ended up in the streets, then foster care. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, oh. You've done really well. Thank you. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Mm. Well, she was like, <laughs> What do you feel good about this in this competition? Well, you know, I ended up on the streets and um, foster care and. Um, Trauma, no family, out at 14. No money, no family, 16 <laughs> yeah. in the middle of Miami. And RuPaul's just like, no, we're not at that part yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Pleasure. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> yes. Come on, turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love them. I love them so much. What a, a solid top four. Well, Marina's more of a liquid, actually, but... Yeah, no. Unless she's frozen. And I love it. Seven confessions of a queen. You're right we say that. Physics! <laughs> oh my god, like frozen. Hi. <laughs> drag queen's drag queen. Oh, she got the Sasha Colby. She got that Sasha Colby in it. Drag queen's favorite drag queen. Drags to riches look. That you made. Oh, oh that was incredible. God. Marina, and I get it. Even mm. tonight, there's waves and there's coral, and that can get very old very quickly. Yeah. That never happened. Everything was different enough and so beautiful. Tina Burner could learn so much. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog's new tricks. You got it, kiddo. You were born to this. Oh. Give her her win. Give her her win. Drag is an amazing, amazing art form to entertain. 
to make people smile. Drag touches people's lives. I can attest to that because drag saved my life. Yeah, I touch myself in drag often as well. Ooh, gross. <laughs> no kink shaming. Unless your kink is kink shaming. It is. <laughs> drag is in good hands and I'm just so happy to be part of this. And one final thing. <laughs> yes! She's a winner. She's a winner, baby. She's a winner. Yeah. Oh god. You know what it, you know what it reminds me of? The Grinch, the Grudge, the what's the thing that lives in the trash can? I need the Grinch and the Grudge together. Oh, Grouch. Grouch! Grouch. <laughs> 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 Oscar the Grouch! Oscar the Grouch! Snatch game, kiddo. You sat there hunched over with your head in your hand telling jokes. Oh my god. Snatch game, you like were funny. Which was the task at hand. Mm -hmm. So well done, I guess, maybe. Her doing Snatch Game with her head in her hand. Mm -hmm. That was camp. It was camp. That, that was, was great. Camp. That was great. Your homage to Cherry Valentine. Oh. Uh, you deserve to be in the top four. Yeah, I'll give her that. I'll give her that. You know, your quirky sense of fashion and your quirky sense of humor. You're so quirky, girl. You're so quirky. Girl, you're a quirky girl. I worked so hard over the last few years just to like prove myself because I really didn't believe it. And I love all of you, and I love all of you, and I love all of you. Yes. So thank you so much. Oh, Drag has always been inherently political. Thank you. Mm. When rights for queer people start getting taken away, they directly impact rights of other minority groups. Drag queens have always been at the forefront of that fight to stop mm. that from happening. We have been gifted this platform, so I do think it is our responsibility to speak up. We are, we are protesters. Mm -hmm. Just like I doth protest his drag. Um, <laughs> joking! <laughs> stop typing! That's my joke, bitch! Thank you, Ladykins. I think we've heard enough. But it's true, we, we are advocates. Everything that we do in this world is inherently political. Politics just means the system's in place to help accommodate us as humans on this earth. So, so let's tear it down. And the patriarchy. <laughs> Ally. Final untuck. Mm -hmm. never this is a funny untuck. I'm valued and appreciated. That is due to the fact that I've been in a room with people that accept me and love me for who mm -hmm. I am. And who are those people? I already feel like I've won. <sighs> and I will come back home a stronger queen than me. The Philippines is proud, and I am proud of the Philippines, so. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for ages. My journey's been an emotional roller coaster. Life changing, as much as that sounds like a stupid cliche, but it really has. I've had the best time. It's taken me up to now to realize that Tear Coffee does not have eyebrows. <laughs> no one said take a chill pill since like 1998. Not the little pan in. <laughs> yeah. You have honestly changed my life and touched my heart, and I appreciate it so much. Now fight! I miss the untucked so they actually get spicy. Now feast each other or something. <laughs> yeah. Somebody do a death drop! <laughs> I have really love watching this group of girls. I love getting to know their drag again on a different scale. But also meeting the new girls and witnessing their drag and how they represent the nationality of their drag mm -hmm. too. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Let's get to work, baby. Marina, hello! Oh. Hello! Le Grand Dame, how are you? Kelly Minaj, hello! Hello, hello. Christina La Badona Mancha. <laughs> Christina, cassette tape out on the ranch. Christina <laughs> Aguilera's <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Spin of the wheel will decide which two queens compete in lip sync number one. The two remaining queens will face off in lip sync number two. What is Why that? Is that? <laughs> I'm looking at Marina in a pair of pants. Then, the two winning queens will lip sync for the mother tucking crowd. To determine our first oh, contender, here we go. Oh. this congeniality. Arancha. Arancha. <laughs> La Mancha. What did you say? You Christina Aguilera's second cousin, Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I think that's an accurate description. Yeah. The number of times your face appears on the mm. wheel has been increased by the number of Rue Peter badges. <gasps> oh! oh! So maybe they have a higher chance of like picking their contender. Yes. What is it, girl? 
show me. me. Quick up. <laughs> yes, Marina. Y'all better mm. know it. You will compete in the first lip sync. Oh, okay. So Marina, who's she sending home is the question. Opponent. Select your opponent. Ah! Oh, she selects her opponent. That's what you get for having three badges. I would love to have one last dance with my samba partner. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have a chance. He's just sitting uh -oh, dark. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Your coffee. You will face Great, off. put the two shorties and the two tallies together. Our two faves in the first lip sync. We're not getting our top two, boo. This feels like Shea uh, Coulee and Sasha Velour all over again. Oh my god, it does. Oh. There's no roses anywhere. <gasps> Is there? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Hello, boys. Uh, I'll take both. Tea uh, and coffee, thank I'll you. Take Each of these boxes contains a lip sync song fit for a grand finale. Oh, is it the finale already? Wait, really? Nobody told me. Oh, shit. I would have won something nicer. <laughs> you don't own anything nicer, silly. That's a fact. <laughs> I am standing at full attention. <laughs> She's got an erection. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go number two. Literally, oh, shit. Number two. Oh! Ooh. You've chosen. I love this song so much. I don't know this lady, and I don't know what she you wrote. You know this song. You know this song. Oh, well, you, you've played Anastasia in the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Hills cosmetic. <laughs> yeah, in the vehicle before. I have so. played a year supply. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Internationally acclaimed queens stand before. Oh, I am. Scared. <laughs> you were also <laughs> Elba Fudd. <laughs> I scared. <laughs> I'm some no. rabbits. Why does she have to have oh, one last number? Honestly. But. I know. So I'm scared. I'm scared. I love Hannah. I don't want Hannah to go home. I want Marina to win, but also I don't want Hannah to go home. What do you mean? But Marina's my number one, and Hannah's my number two. It's my pee and my poop. This is it. It's time to so bad. I'm so sorry. Who let this person on this couch? Who said that you were allowed to make jokes? Well, Dad was my couch, so. <laughs> okay, let's go. go. Here we go. Oh, 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 this is nice. I like this. Battle Royale. Oh my gosh! Yes, Hannah! Oh my god, stop it! No, Hannah is not gonna out lip sync Marina. No. She's not, it's not gonna happen. I mean, the camera's just falling out. <laughs> oh, come on, Marina. Oh! Yes! Yes! Yes, Marina! <laughs> what is Hannah doing? Oh. oh, she looks so good. Oh, oh. yes, oh my Marina. Gosh. Herself. If Hannah doesn't have at least one more reveal, then she's she's all out. Mm -hmm. She's all out of gag. I mean, she's giving it. She <laughs> is. Real. She's selling. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, man. Strut your stuff, girl. Come on, Hannah. RuPaul is just watching Hannah. Yeah! Ooh. The camera's just following Hannah. Ben Marina right now. Come on, Marina. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, no. That, okay. I am. <laughs> I am already so upset. Did Hannah just out lip sync Marina? She didn't, but I feel like they're gonna let her I through. I feel like she may have done that. I've made my decision. Oh shit. The winner. All she did was put oh, on sunglasses God, and walk no. around and lie down. No. no. Hold on. Queen, moving on. You can't. You can't do this. Stop. The Stop. Is... Stop. Stop. You've got to be kidding no. me. No. You've got to be kidding me. Hannah <laughs> Oh, Hannah. Love our girl, not correct. Come on, producers, stepping in again. You may leave the stage. I'm sorry, this might be brave and controversial. Uh-huh. Or controversial and brave. Controversial and brave. Hannah's lip sync suited that song better than Marina's did. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Marina just danced. I would, I would agree with you. However, Marina actually had things going on. Hannah walked around 
took off sunglasses and laid down. And that is all I saw her do the entire performance. Yeah, but girl, she embodied that shit. Sashay away. Ruth, thank you so much for inviting this little Filipina on your big show. My lines are open for another call. <laughs> I know I made every Filipino across the globe proud, and thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'll always and forever be your Filipino winner. <laughs> oh. I think that's the first time we've seen RuPaul move her head. <laughs> I am walking out as Holy an international glam is on with international sisters. That for me is a win already. They are all shocked. I'm shocked. You're shocked. We all fall down. Let's find out what song you'll be lip syncing to. LeBron Time looks so good. I don't know if I can even see her to be honest. That's why she looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Boogie Tonight by Booty Love. Okay. Assume the position. Holy shit. Two internationally acclaimed queens stand before me. This is your chance. Come on, come on, Le Grand. And, <laughs> save and also Tia. <laughs> Tia has, has I think, a bodysuit under wig. that. What is this wig? Well, well, what is this robe? What is this under bodysuit moment? She looks like she's about to go into like a wrestling match. Yeah. By that, I mean, I, it looks like she's about to start tongue punching LeGrand Dunn. <laughs> it looks like she's about to start wrestling her idea of drag. <laughs> <laughs> she's already been wrestling with that. Come on, LeGrand. Pick up the Come scraps on. where Marina could not, apparently. Come on, babies. Wait. <laughs> LeGrand looks like one of the toads uh, from Mario. Oh my god, Done yeah. swallowed an invincibility star. She looks like one of the mushrooms <laughs> did mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I oh love the god, way that what? her outfit is moving. All the ostrich feather with her. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh, oh she got confetti. Damn. Yeah. LeGrand is serving this for me. What did I say? <sighs> Body suit. Uh, and that sloppy untangling of it all. Haha! <laughs> Dick, Dick joke. joke. Oh! Oh! Huh? Come on, LeGrand uh, Arm. Uh, give it to me, baby! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes! yes! LeGrand looks so good. Yes! <laughs> Come on, baby! Come on, white girl, shake those pancakes! <laughs> shake that crepe, honey, because they're French. <laughs> ah. Oh. LeGrand. <laughs> she got beer bottles? Who? Oh, she does. She's got beer bottles. Oh my god, they were sugar bottles. Oh! <laughs> stumble, baby, stumble. Double shanty! <laughs> okay, I actually don't know. I have a Tonight's feeling, and it's not how I feel. Moving on to the I'm so opposed to the motions of this entire round. episode. Tea coffee. Yeah. <gasps> Thanks, props. Final. You may leave the stage. I think we called it. I think we've called the season. I'm gonna go take a nap and hopefully I don't wake up. Hey, there is still a a 50-50 chance from an audience perspective mm -hmm. that our girl had a condo might take this season. There's also a 90-10% chance because BBC producers have stepped in and said, no, we have to go and give it to a British girl. They called the shots long before. Sashay away. Thank you. Aww, Thank you to Ron. all of you. It's such an honor here before you. Well, you were there before us, but... <laughs> you? No! Oh. This should be a Marina Legrand Dame top two right now. But also, like, happy for Hannah. Happy for Hannah! Happy oh, for Tia! Pop off! You didn't choose the winner? You just gone with it? 
Yeah. We can't blame the girls for the production movements. Oh, God, no. So, like, props I... to Tia for continually showing up. Hey, T must have done something right. Blowing the producers. She was British. It was British. <laughs> Stop typing. She colonized me. Stop bitch. typing. Oh, it's it's a color. Okay, I'm sorry. She looks so good though. This color is beautiful. I love all the crystals and the way they're shimmering. Yeah. Oh, mommy, the crack has been mighty. Traveling the world, meeting fans. Meeting fan. <laughs> and um. Yeah. <laughs> Winner, baby. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel about the cash prize? Oh, wait, you didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> That's ruthless. That is mean. You better sit on that throne. She, she looks, looks half the size of everyone else. <laughs> oh, this yeah. looks like the start of Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with the parent and the child. <laughs> I love that one's black and one's white and they have the same silhouette. But the one that has blonde hair and one has black hair. Oh my god. They really oh planned god, this. Oh my god, they did this. It's like they got ready in the same room. Cash prize of 50,000 pounds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> In your face! <laughs> Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Your Disco Needs You by Kylie Minogue. Oh, Aussie song for Aussie, come <laughs> on! Come on! You did not see the glint yeah. that was in her <laughs> eye. Oh, I did, bitch. She looked up and she was like, it's Kylie. <laughs> this is my bread and butter. This is my hometown girl. And my Aussie. Hey, look at her! Down under, we're still a part of the Commonwealth, bitch. We still have the Union Jack in our flag, <laughs> against our will. We're still part of the Commonwealth Games, which yeah. means next to nothing. And also Eurovision, which means also next to nothing. This is it, this is our songbird. It's for Australia. I'm ready. Mm. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Good luck. Oh. Baby. Go. I need Hannah to win this. Let's go. No. Oh my god! Yes. Tea's on, already Hannah. doing too much. Props. No props. Stop with the props. How'd you get a phone in there? Come on, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh no, Tia's gonna win with comedy. Yes, oh. Hannah! Reveal. Come on, move around. Do something. I know that doing nothing won you your first lip sync, but. Come on, Hannah. Hannah, pick up the steam. Oh, Hannah, she looks so good, though. I know she does. She's giving like Barbarella tees. Yes. This is late 60s into the 70s for sure. Disco, come on, queen. Oh, actually, yes. I'm kind of into what Hannah's giving. I'm kind of into Hannah. She's just doing arm, She's just arm, 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 arm. Yes. Oh, yeah, Le Grand Dame should be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on now. Ooh. Come on, girls. Come on, Hannah. Hannah. Bring your all into it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 End of season. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this season she is so unserious. <laughs> <laughs> this season is so unserious. Wow. Oh my god, work, work. Ladies, I've made my decision. The time has come to crown our queen. The winner, RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. Oh my god. Queen of the mother tucking world is. Le Grand Dame for that lip sync performance. <laughs> Tea or coffee? <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Make sure you do your homework and pay your taxes. Yes. Now press, my queen, press. Good job, baby. Come on, Tia. It is the culmination of so much hard work, <laughs> so much focus, and so much determination. Oh, shit. She's so stupid. God bless. Oh, honey. How in the hell are you going to love
love somebody else. Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. 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 Let the music play. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Lola Grandin never showed off those skills in the lip syncs. I know, she never did. I'd like us all to take a moment to um, just take in what has happened and commemorate and commiserate those lost in the journey that were undeservably pushed aside by the BBC. Undeservedly is the word I'm looking for, I think. That's the important bit you took out of that? Yep. <sighs> Yeah, I might need just like to take a hot second. The girls had zero decision mm -hmm. in who got chosen. Yeah, they like just... I'm so happy for Tia. Look at me, do I not look happy? Do I not look happy? This is the face of a happy person. Oh, 100%. I'm very happy for Tia. I loved her on her original season. Mm -hmm. And I loved seeing her win this. Um, like I'm so proud of her for that growth. And that's a turnaround. That's a turnaround. But Marina was pushed aside. The Grand Dame was pushed aside, and also <coughs> Hannah, Hannah did was, her best. Hannah did her best, and honestly, she could have won that lip sync anyways. I think she should have. I do too. The reliance on props for Tia was just. She's always relying on a shtick. A shtick. As much as she was like being the campy girl, I was like, yeah, but we have campy queens here who don't need to be like pressing it into our faces all the time. Anaconda. Anaconda. Right what there. A perfect example. La Grand Dame. La Grand Dame. Perfect example. Marina. Perfection. I'm so, I mean, Hannah got to top two and that's amazing. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the fact that Marina did not even make it to top two. Yeah. Is insane. Just insane. I'm gagged, grouped, gobbled, gunked. I need another drink. First and foremost. Yes. Congratulations to all the damn girls. They all yes. showed up in this episode. Looking stunning, divine. Usually you get mm -hmm. that one, the one or two people. I mean, I mean, Jumpers was there, but <laughs> usually you get like a couple of girls who really like miss the brief. Whereas mm. everyone still looked like beautiful tonight. Everyone looked stunning. Who popped off the absolute most for me? Mm -hmm. One, Ma Marina, obviously, 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 but also mayhem. mayhem. The way that it was shaped and the way that it was, mm -hmm. and the pattern and the fabric and the text and the shoulder and the hat. No. Ah! Also, uh -huh. I may have just not been paying attention, but was Mayhem at the final bit? I don't think I saw her there. What do you mean? Like in that final bit where the, they're all lip syncing right at the end. Yeah. I don't think I saw Mayhem there. She was there. I don't think she was. What do you mean? I don't think I saw her there. Hold on, we're going back and checking. <laughs> not there. Maybe she got long COVID again. Wow. She came to the reunion. Stirred mm -hmm. up shit and then left. That's so mayhem. That's <laughs> so mayhem. Hey, it's in the name. That's in the name. That's mm -hmm. true. I'm proud of the girls for mm -hmm. doing what they did. I'm proud of our top four. All of the production decisions that were made to bolster and or eviscerate the chances of some of the girls. Mm -hmm. Unwarrantedly, I should say. It's not the girls' fault. No. And honestly, big props to all the girls for still continuing to pursue the competition mm -hmm. despite knowing that the favor was against them to marina to hannah to the grand arm and to tia i know we give her a bit of a bad rap but like they they all push through and they all do they the fab all fabulous amazing. job props to the girls who didn't win yeah. this episode for just being graceful just accepting oh. it and going thank you props for that because it is hard to hear that shit. Mm -hmm. it is hard and people don't give the queens enough love for being able to take that news gracefully. Yeah, graciously. That. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I definitely do believe it should have been Marina and Legrand Dame top two just mm -hmm. from the lip syncs alone. That's not even a personal bias, it's just from how they showed up and what they did on that stage. And knowing that Marina has out lip synced all those girls previously, um, just sort of rubs me a little bit the wrong way. I'm like so happy for Hannah. Oh, I'm so happy for Hannah and I'm sorry, her lip sync mm -hmm. was so camp. Yeah. And so fun. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Just for me, I just got more out of Hannah Conda performance wise than I did for Marina because Marina didn't do anything different. I don't know what you mean by that. I feel like if I had watched 
her do that to any other song, yeah. her performance would have been exactly the same. Hannah did something different. She gave a take. She gave a point of view. Which was sunglasses. Which Big props to La Grande Dame mm-hmm. because I think that she killed that lip sync over Tia. She did. The way she paced her reveals and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the outfit she came out in, the outfit that she came out to. And just the way she moved, the sex that she sold while Tia's over there flailing her arms uh-huh. a little bit. Um, and for the finale lip sync as well, Hannah gave. Hannah ate. At first I thought Tia was taken away with the beats and the comedy, but then mm-hmm. I just, the more we watched the lip sync play out, the way that Hannah was holding back was feeding into the movement of the mm-hmm. song. And the way she was lying down, it was giving, it was giving me Barbarella tease. Lying 100%. down in her sex dungeon space shuttle. And she, just, oh. she controlled the space. Uh-huh. And she was like, I don't need to point everywhere every three seconds yeah. because I can sit here and go I know you're looking at me mm. I don't have to try I don't have to pull attention because I already have it sorry <laughs> sorry Tia <laughs> love love Tia I, I will say I will say both lip syncs mm-hmm. I enjoyed watching Tia why the f*** you lying why you always lying she's camp she's funny she's silly mm-hmm. nonsensical I don't think that she won either of the lip syncs tonight mm-hmm. let's go through the season the girls showed up that first episode with the talent show mm-hmm. we saw the talent of the few girls that had it um, and then we moved to the ball we moved to acting challenge and comedy challenges galore. We have so many girls with different international perspectives interpreting the challenges differently. It's one thing that I love about seeing international seasons Mm -hmm. is just the different points of view coming from a different culture. And I really appreciate seeing something beyond the Americanized or Westernized view of media and comedy and art. The Anglophone, I don't know what what we call them, English-speaking peoples. The English! Obviously they're a Western sphere performers here. Spain is predominantly white. France is predominantly white. They are part of the Western sphere, Mm. but we haven't had their interpretation because we don't understand the language or the culture. It's not put on our screens. That's true. So to see that, I'm I'm so thankful. Keta Minaj coming back and proving that us in the Netherlands, we know what's going on. We know how to do it. My culture, my people. Sorry, um, them in the Netherlands know how to do it because you're Australian and you don't know how to do it. Stop. <laughs> My people! <laughs> <laughs> Let me have this! All in all, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed this season. Mm-hmm. Other than the production bias, but you know, there's production bias in most every season. In anyway. every season there's production bias. It's always yeah. there. It is reality TV. Yes. TV is the big thing. Mm-hmm. And like, we've, we've kind of made this point in the last couple of seasons we've reacted to mm-hmm. about how much Drag Race has been kind of lacking the fun and silliness. Yes. And this season kind of brought that back. It really did. It really put into the forefront and in the limelight just how silly drag is, but how much entertainment value that is, how political that is, how smart it is to be silly. It takes intelligence yeah. to know how to be silly mm-hmm. without being like completely stupid while still being entertaining <laughs> and not a complete mess. You heard it from Sheila. It takes smart to not be dumb. (laughs) I'm not going to take this from someone wearing literally a lash and liner. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And looking beautiful all the while. What are you talking about? Oh, yes you do, baby. Yes you you do. Congratulations to Tia. Congratulations to Tia. She has grown so much into a season. And honestly, talking about, you know, bringing Silly back to drag, I think Tia encompasses that pretty... Astronomically! Sure! Let's say that! Is it because she's really tall? Yes, it is! That's why we use the word astronomically, because yeah. she breaks through the stratosphere. The stratosphere, darling. She's the beanstalk, after <laughs> all. <laughs> uh, does that make Le Grand Dame Jack or the giant? Le Grand Dame's the giant. Okay, alright. Because we've established Marina's Jack. No, no, no. Hannah's Jack. Hannah's and Marina Jack, can be um, Jack's cow. grandmother. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marina's the magic beans. Yeah, <laughs> Marina's the magic beans. Yeah. 100%. Huge congrats to Tia. Again, like the Spiral Production favoriting and everything. Tia showed up. She did the assignment to her best ability. And she kind of showed out a lot of the time. She did. She did well so, consistently throughout the entire competition. Yeah. So props. Props to your mama. And now you can take that 50k uh, and laugh in Blue's face for me. And buy better outfits. Marry that! And maybe get 
some singing lessons while you're at it. Oop, thank you so much for coming and joining us for another season of Don't Drag Us Reacts to whatever we're reacting to. This is it, this is finale. So you're not gonna see us doing Drag Race UK vs. The World 2 ever again. But you can catch us on season 16 and The Untouched, so don't forget to check those out. And whatever the hell we do after this, because I actually don't know. And neither do we, which is also her. Which is what she said. But I'm here too. And I also don't know. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell so that you can continue to get all the content that we do put up there on the interwebs and in the dark corners where you can also go out and buy a kidney. That's terrifying. I needed a new one though, so can you send me the link? <laughs> can do! It's my kidney though. Oh, I hope you know. Never mind, I don't want it. <gasps> I need to make the money! I'm the Shirley B. Right. <laughs> and I'm the poor Shirley Deaf. Ah!